Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to create any of the zombie avatar for your Unreal Engine game project. First, you need to have the character creator tree. This is character creator 3.4. Design any of the human avatar in your character creator 3.4. And then after that, what you need to do is press Q and double click, double click the skin. And then you go to material. Alright, after that, once you go to the material, you need to find the skin head. Here, you drag it down. You should be able to see a diffuse color. Next, you have to click this. And once you choose this, and you drag it down to here. Next, copy this HTML color codes. You select and then you right click and copy, click OK. Next, you scroll up, go to the skin body and scroll down, go to the diffuse color and paste it here, Control V to paste it here, click OK. Now the body also changed already, next. You scroll up, go to the skin arm and scroll down again, go to the diffuse color Paste it here as well, Control V to paste and, and OK. Next is the leg, the skin leg. You just need to scroll down again, change the diffuse color and paste it here, Control V and click OK. Now you can see the whole avatar already become the zombie skin color. At this moment, actually, you also can go and edit the the shirts to add some blood. This one you need to use a photo editing skill. Export this texture up out and just add some blood or any of the dirt. As demo, I'm not going to to do anything on the shirt and the pants, but I'm going to show you how to export it and import it into your Unreal Engine to make it become become the main avatar of your game or any of the NPC in your game. So next, what you are going to do is open the Icon 7. In your character creator tree, you click here to send it to Icon 7. Once you click here, send to Icon 7, you back to the Icon 7 and you have to wait for a while here. Alright now, this avatar already in your Icron 7 and you must make sure that the Icron Unreal Life link is already installed in your Icron 7. At the same time, you open your, your, you open your Unreal Engine project, you must make sure that the Icron Unreal Life link is already installed, already set up. Next, back to your Icron 7, in your Icron 7, you go to the scene and rename the avatar, double click to rename it as zombie female 01, enter. Now, the zombie female 01, you back to the icon on real life link, you can see. You must make sure you untick everything. And you check the, the character, you only tick the zombie female 01. Next, click transfer file. And then you wait in your Unreal Engine 4. This is Unreal Engine 4.26. You have to wait until it finished transfer. Now it is transferring from Icon 7 to Unreal Engine 4.26. You have to wait for a while. Once you finish it, it will appear at here. And just wait for a few seconds. Now you can see after it finished, it finished transfer. You can see it automatically opened that it's under the content folder, Revolution Content Zombie Female 01. And it, it automatically plays in the scenes I'm going to delete it. Next, you scroll down. You can see that this is the skeletal mesh. If you double click in and just have a look, it is totally transferred to Unreal Engine. 4.26 already. 
So now we are going to make this zombie as a main avatar and we also can make this zombie as the NPC. I'm going to show you step by step how to do this. Close first and you back to the contents. Go to the mana queens, go to the character, mesh, double click the Unreal Engine 4 mana queen skeletons. Next, click retarget manager and select the rig you must click select humanoid rig and then you click save next you close the next step you back to the mannequin folder go to the animations then you should be able to see the third person animation blueprints here you right click it retarget retarget here you must choose the zombie female 01 skeleton then you click retarget and next, you can see it back to the content folder. This is a third person animation blueprint. You press F2 to rename it. You click here, add an underscore, add an underscore, zombie female 01. Next, you press enter. And then, click the content again, go to the third person blueprint. Go to the blueprint folder. You should be able to see a third person character. You right click, duplicate, and now you rename it. You add an underscore behind and you name it as zombie female 01. Enter. Double click and open it. Click the mesh. Click the viewport. Next, the skeleton mesh. You choose you choose the zombie female zero one. At this time, the animation class you choose the third person animation blueprint zombie female zero one. Now you click compile and close. The next step in your map, you have to click the mannequin here. You press delete button to delete it. And go to the edit, go to the project setting. Next, you go to the maps and modes. You should be able to see the selected game modes, the default point class. This is, this is the main avatar of the game. Here you have to choose the third person character zombie female 01. Now you close it, it automatic save. And now when you try to play, you can see the main avatar already become your zombie. This zombie can can jump, can run, can walk. And that's all for today about how to create the main avatar as a zombie, how to create any of the zombie to make it become the main avatar. At the same time, you, you can make her become the NPC as well. You just drag her down, drag from the third person character here, you press, E and you can just rotate it. Now this is the NPC zombie. When you try to play, you can see this is the NPC zombie at here. Of course, in your Unreal Engine game project, you can make more about the game animation side there because you already finished retargeted and this is a zombie. All right, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you will receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy happy animation and game developing. See you.